At the Oakland Zoo is in mourning after an African elephant had to be euthanized. The 46-year-old elephant named Lisa suffered from chronic and degenerative health issues. The zoo says it is just the latest misfortune it has had to deal with over the last few months. KTVU's Brooks Durrell is in studio tonight with a look at the challenges the zoo has faced and the plan here moving forward. Brooks. Mike, the Oakland Zoo has not only lost a beloved elephant, it has lost a lot of money, millions, because of storm-related closures. It has been one thing after the next, and with another round of rain and wind on the way, the zoo just announced it will be closed yet again tomorrow. For more than 40 years, Lisa has called the Oakland Zoo home. But for the last decade, the African elephant has suffered from degenerative arthritis. Despite therapy, medication, and treatments, her care team made the difficult decision to ease her discomfort by humanely euthanizing her. Sometimes in life, um, you know, it's, it, you have to let go. It's just the latest thing to go this year. Last week, a large eucalyptus tree took out the zoo's aviary. Six exotic birds escaped. While five have since been captured, Diego, a pied crow, is still missing. It's hard not to feel, uh, uh, you know, like somebody punches you in the gut. CEO Nick DeHagia says the hits keep on coming. It began with lights out at Glofari, the zoo's lantern festival. Then buckets of rain caused a massive sinkhole right near the main entrance. The zoo was shut down for more than a month for major repairs. I will tell you we've been tested. We've been tested as an organization uh, financially. With a persistent series of storms, 50 days closed and counting, costing more than $2.5 million in lost revenue. But the trouble is not over, especially with wild weather and saturated soil. This is ongoing. Um, we're still recovering from that storm damage. There are a lot of trees at the zoo that are either at risk of falling or we may not even know. They look healthy. The zoo plans to remove more trees, a long-term project, and a costly endeavor. But with new animals and new habitats, zoo staff hopes a change in the weather will drive the community to come to the rescue. We get knocked down and, and we're just trying to, you know, one step in front of the other, get back up. I know people are out there supporting us and rooting us on and couldn't be more thankful to the community over there. Oakland voters approved Measure Y last November. That will allow the zoo to get an extra $12 million a year for the next 20 years for operating costs, facility upgrades, and education programs. But the first round of funds are still not available for another 8 to 12 months. Brooks DeRose, KTVU, Fox 2 News. I mean, 8 to 12 months. I mean, someone may be sitting at home right now, Brooks. I mean, what can they do in the meantime to, to help the zoo? They can certainly give an in-kind contribution to the zoo by going to their website. Also, a family of four can get a membership to the zoo for about $175. All right, Brooks DeRose, live tonight here in studio. Brooks, appreciate it. Thanks.